Hey guys, welcome to Quick Fix Guitar. My name is Aaron. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. Appreciate the support. However, if you are new here, let me tell you all about what I do here at Quick Fix Guitar. So here on the channel, I upload three guitar lessons per week on songs from a variety of genres, but with the main focus around hard rock, rock, punk, and metal. Then the following day, I release a cover of the song so you can see all of the parts played in their entirety. And I also do review the odd piece of gear from time to time, guitars, pedals, and amps, you name it. I love chatting about it. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. Also, if you find this lesson useful or entertaining at any stage, feel free to give it a like as well. That really helps out with the channel. And with that being said, let's jump in and learn this Sex Pistols tune. All right, lesson time, Lonely Boy by the Sex Pistols. So this song is off the album, The Rock and Roll Swindle, The Great Rock and Roll Swindle, which is the album that came out after Nevermind the Bollocks that the Sex Pistols released. I'm pretty sure this album came out just as they were breaking up and they were no longer really a band when it got released. But it's got some really good songs on it, like Silly Things, uh, I Want to Be Me, and this one, uh, Lonely Boy, which I'm pretty sure is where he got the title for his book, Steve Jones' Lonely Boy, that he released years ago. But it's a really, really catchy song. And for this one, we're on the bridge pickup and we're in standard tuning. And we've got the intro riff, which is also the verse riff. And it's also a modified version of the chorus. So it's really simple, it's four chords. So it starts off with an A power chord here on the fifth fret with your index finger on the low E, ring finger on the seventh fret of the A and pinky finger on the seventh fret of the D. Or you can play the A power chord down here with A string open barring on the D and G at the second fret, whatever your preference is. But to my ear, it sounds like he's playing it up here for the intro at least. So he's palm muting, put his palm down the bridge and just chugging through it. Then he slides to an F sharp at the second fret, same shape. Down to a D, which is on the fifth fret on the A string with your index finger, ring finger on the seventh fret on the D and pinky finger on the seventh fret of the G. And then finally an E major chord up here. So. Uh, middle finger on the second fret of the A, ring finger on the second fret of the D, and index finger on the first fret of the G. So again, you can play the E power chord down here if you want, or up there, but to my ear it sounds like he's doing it all here, 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 here. So. So he's palm muting that, and that is the intro, and it's also the verse riff. And then the chorus is the exact same chords, but instead of palm muting, he opens it up. And you can all down pick this, or you can strum your way through it, whatever works for you. But it's the exact same chords, the A, F sharp, D, E. So out of the intro slash verse riff. straight back into the same chords, but palm muting again. So that is the chorus and the verse. Then there's a little bridge section that happens just after the chorus midway through the song. So coming off the chorus, we go to this um, C sharp, D, then A, then E, so that's 4th fret, the C sharp is 4th fret on the A string with your index finger, ring finger on the 6th fret of the D string, and pinky finger on the 6th fret of the G string. Slide that up 1 to a D, jump up to the low E string for an A, then jump down to the 7th for the E, then it goes back and it repeats. Instead of going to that A, it goes straight back to the E. And then he's doing this D sharp and he's sliding into the E. And then back into the chorus. So 
So coming off the chorus, I'll show you what that bridge section looks like. So that's that little bridge section. Then it goes through the chorus, those four chords twice. And then there's this weird little, I guess you could call it another bridge section or something like that. But it's actually one of those things that um, I, I've personally never played a chord like this. It's very, very strange. But he's sort of muting the chords, palm muting them, but sort of raking his pick across them. So again, it's the same four chords but he plays a bar chord, an A major bar chord, F sharp bar chord, um, D open chord, and then an E open chord. So I'll show you what it sounds like, and then I'll try and explain it to you, so. So that's how it goes. But basically what he's doing is playing the A major bar chord there. So barring across the fifth fret with your index finger and making that E major shape here. He's palm muting, he's raking his pick across. And he's sort of only letting the, the E and the B and the G ring out at the end. And he sort of picks his, way, picks his way back up through the chord, so. Slides to the F sharp, does the same thing. To the D major power, uh, open chord. E major. Back to the A. F sharp. D major. Then down to the E. Sliding from that D sharp into the E. So that's that section there. It's really, really odd. Um, I've, as I said, I've never heard or seen that in another song before, but it's just uh, classic Steve Jones not really knowing how to play and just making something up. But it's a really interesting way of doing the chords. And I personally had a little bit of trouble trying to get that right in the beginning because, um, it, again, it's quite odd, but lots of fun to play in the song. And then after that section, it goes back to the chorus, goes through that a few times, and then eventually it comes up to the E. So... And it just sits on the E for a while. And then finally finishes on an A. And then it finishes. So really, really easy song, apart from that little bridge section where you're palm muting and raking through the chords, that might take a little bit of time to get right. But other than that, the song is really, really easy. It's basically four chords, with that other little bridge section that has a C sharp in it um, and a D and a A and an E. And there's also the D sharp in there as well. But it's all relatively easy, intro, chorus, and that bridge, the two bridge sections. So that's all the parts that you need to play Lonely Boy by the Sex Pistols. And there you have it guys, that's how you play Lonely Boy by the Sex Pistols. I'm pretty sure it's Steve Jones singing on that one and it's off the Rock and Roll Swindle, but it holds up with anything on Nevermind the Bollocks in my opinion, a really, really catchy song. So hopefully you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. Also, giving the video a like really, really helps out with the channel, pushes the video out to more people, so I'd appreciate it if you could do that. Also, comment down below, would you like to see any more Sex Pistols lessons on the channel? Feel free to check out the pop-ups that are popping up around here. Don't forget to check out the Nevermind the Bollocks playlist as well. That's gonna get you learning all of the rhythms, the leads, and the tones of the Nevermind the Bollocks album. With that being said, I will see you in the next lesson. Catch ya.